What's happening, fam? LA y'all moving, still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. It's at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. The link will be in the description box below. This video called Why Are You a MGTOW? You know, I don't talk about MGTOWs that much. I made a couple of videos. Maybe I made one saying, the uh, the similarities between MGTOW and black men, and I and I made one about why black men shouldn't be in MGTOW. But every now and then, because of those videos and and I guess some of the relationships videos I've done, um, MGTOW guys like commenting, and they always you know comment on titles sometimes and not listen, but. They comment to call call people simps and stupid and coons and and then at the same time they they men who go on their own way but they really got a lot of bitch ways so I gotta start asking these cats why are you a MGTOW like are you a MGTOW because you're one of these type of guys who really drunk your own Kool Aid and thought you you're the shit when you're not like are you one of those guys who or just some awkward, socially awkward weirdo who has delusions of grandeur that he is more of a man and women should be fawning all over him when that's not the case. So in 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 so instead of bettering yourself so you don't have to deal with the rejection the way you're dealing with it, you decide to quote unquote be a MGTOW. When wasn't nobody fucking with you like that, no way. Or are you a guy who actually, you know, worked on yourself, self improvement, and um, and are the best man you can be, but you just don't like the relationship dynamic between men and women? So you decided to go your own way and deal with uh, male female relationships on your uh, time. Or your dime in your particular way. It's your way or the highway. If you ain't doing it, if it ain't going that way, you gonna move around. You know, kind of like a relationship, a relationship mercenary. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, your plan is you gonna get what you get and you gonna move on. Or you could just move on. That's different. You know. For some of you guys, uh, when I bring up. Um, race when I brought up race and y'all wanted to be non-black men telling black men what to do about you know just black male issues so are you one of these guys who wants to imitate black men or get or, or have black friends as you motherfuckers would say and you want to speak on the behalf of all black people but when it comes down to it, you just a, you just a sucker ass culture vulture who needs some black friends to to be a swagger jacker. And when guys like myself, like I ain't fucking with that MGTOW shit, you get upset because you can't poach any um any confidence from us, and you're left to fend for yourself. So you throwing a bitch fit. You know, or are you one of those guys who just likes poking fun at dysfunctional black culture as if we don't know what's dysfunctional in all y'all fucking cultures? You know, you, you want to be, be my friend so you can say nigga comfortably. But if I punch you in your fucking mouth, you're going to have a problem with that. Or you want to be my friend so you can show me all the uh, all your world star hip hop videos that you have in your phone, but you ain't black. So, but what if I start showing you all of your videos of your culture in my phone about the fuck shit y'all do. How you gonna be able to take that? It, Cause what's good for the goose is good for the gander. That's what I'm saying. Like, or, or are you just one of those guys who's like, man, listen, you know, we come from two different cultures. I see, I see what, what, what the, the, the negative things that happen to your culture and I'm telling you if you try to do these things that I've learned in my culture that help us get over even though it ain't gonna work exactly the same for you because you're different from me it might actually get you further ahead because 
you know, is it's not about changing who you are, your culture, your perspective, but just try this different approach with these different people. Could be. I ain't got no problem with cats like that. But why are you a MGTOW? You know, are you a guy who who used to be a simp and it didn't really work out for you well and you learned your lesson and you say, look, I'm not doing that shit no more and I'm teaching cats that I know not to do this anymore because it's not going to work out in your best interest in the end. So these are the, these are the lessons I've learned and take this information and run with it so you don't have these problems. Or are you a staunch MGTOW? Fuck these bitches, these bitches ain't shit. These bitches ain't shit. And then behind closed doors, you a sell. Who wants to talk all that shit? So, because what you are is just a sucker who's trying to use MGTOW to think there's less men in the game chasing the women that you want while your ass is a MGTOW in 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 word but you a simp in, in life practice so why are you a MGTOW you know I'm gonna ask this flat out are you a MGTOW because you you don't like the way male and female relationships work out or are you a MGTOW because you're just a homosexual dude trying to come up on a guy <laughs> I'm just saying which one are you? You know, why are you a MGTOW? Are you really, uh, are you a MGTOW on YouTube? Are you a YouTube MGTOW who's, who's normally faceless, who talks like a robot? Because for some reason, this is what you need. Who is talking all that shit? online because it gets views and it makes them money and you've turned your fuck ass right around and use that money to do what I know to be a simp or are you one of those guys who is a MGTOW or, or whatever you want to else call it and you're like mm, I just don't show my face because it ain't I'll just listen to the message you know Take, take these lessons with you. You know, I'm telling you my experiences. I'm an open book. You know, you take some things, leave some things, but apply what works for you. You know, this is about protecting you from getting screwed by this society. Like I said, got no problem with you. But what kind of MGTOW are you? You know what? As a matter of fact, let's let, let, let's do this. Are you the kind of MGTOW who is a man going his own way? Who is not a leader amongst men? So when a man tra trailblazes in a different direction... Yo, uh, estrogen just starts kicking into overdrive and you start losing your fucking mind. Or, are you a MGTOW who's like, hey, go your own way. You know, that, if you go that way, you see the warning signs. If you go that way, you know, yeah, you, you, you see the signs. If you go that way, you're, you're, you're blazing a new trail, so you get back to us when you're done. And you tell us what that new direction brought you. Because that because you went your own way. Which one are you? So the reason I'm saying these things is because some of you guys out here who claim to be MGTOWs, y'all just, just under the umbrella, but y'all on some sucker shit. And some of you guys who are actually MGTOWs, I got no problem with you. You know, it's just not a movement for me and my people. That's what I feel. If you're non-black, I just, you know. And I've said, I stated it in, in the older videos. So, that's my words. And we out. Peace.